Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today, essentially what I'm going to be talking about is pretty much the entirely new batch of Hazard Quest that are going to be making its way as part of this sixth slash bonus free title update. Originally, I spoke about this going to be this was going to be part of the last video that I made where I spoke about uh, Primordial Monzeno and pretty much a lot of the stuff that we we're going to get as part of the bonus slash six free title update. But that video dragged on for quite too long. Uh, there was too many details regarding Primordial Monzeno moves and everything regarding that is going to be coming with that specific monster therefore i decided to kind of split up the video into two separate sections and i wanted to discuss hazard quest on their very own go over each and every single one that we are going to be able to get you're going to be seeing some information overlaid this time around it's just going to be text uh, so you should be able to see some of that as i'm talking about each one of the upcoming hazard quest as part of this brand new batch of content. Now, this is not to be confused with any of the hazard quests that we already know regarding the fifth free title update, the stuff that we are currently enjoying. This is going to be dropping after June, so do keep that in mind. I made a video separately where I spoke about all of the quests that we're getting as part of the fifth free title update. Link in the description below if you need those details. Uh, of course, when it comes to hazards, we already know that uh, Buffoon Buff Baboon Soon was the recent Rajang uh, quest. We're also expecting Legendary Strike from Flaming Espinas as part of this specific update, the fifth one, as we wait for the sixth one. Now, making our way to the sixth free title update, expect a handful of brand new hazard quests. Remember, hazards are brand new quests level difficulty types where they're just like higher difficulty monsters will have new attacks higher parameters higher resistances higher damage higher health all those kind of good things they're really awesome for the most part all of them not really the recent rajan one i made an entire video complaining about it because it was kind of a bummer however the mines here show us that there's some really good changes coming to a hazard quest starting with melody of mayhem this is going to be a hazard quest versus Amatsu. So yes, Amatsu actually gets a brand new buffed version of the already amazingly awesome version that is in the game. This one is going to be brand new attacks, all of that, new health, new resistances, all that good stuff. And the rewards will be MP accelerants and brand new titles. I know a lot of people have been hoping for MP accelerants as a reward. Pretty much they have been saving this all the way to the end. The next hazard quest that we can expect is called Super Conductor. This one is against a boosted up Sonogre. This is not an Apex Sonogre or an Anomaly Investigation Sonogre. This is just a boosted Sonogre with new attacks, new health, new resistances, yada yada, you get the drill. You're also going to be able to get MP Accelerants from this quest as well. So two brand new hazard quests will be bringing uh, those awesome rewards for people who are certainly wanting them. The next hazard quest is a quest called Ground Gom, kind of a thing. A lot of G R R R R R A N G O L L M exclamation mark. And this one is gonna put you up against a Garon Gom. So a Garon Gom hazard quest, pretty much brand new attacks for this one. We have been expecting at the very least all of the you know trio of the monsters that we had been uh, that we saw for uh, Sunbreak expansion to get boosted and finally they are the next one is called Lunar Gawu kind of like a thing like a Luna Garen uh, type of uh, wording for the title of the quest and therefore Luna Garen also gets a brand new hazard quest this one will give you a massive crown so if you have been hunting for a Luna Garen big crown you're going to be able to get it with this brand new quest now, the next one is really interesting because a lot of people have speculated that, well, like I said at the top of the video, maybe Volcano wasn't going to get any sort of love and maybe it actually will. There's a brand new quest called Winter Warning, and this one is going to be a hazard Volcano quest. So Volcano will not get Anomaly, will not get Risen, but at the very least will have his very own hazard version as well. Um, next, we have Swole Semien Selis. This is going to be a hazard quest with two Furious Rajangs. Now, not only did we just get the recent Rajang, which is essentially a Furious Rajang that's pissed off the entire time. This time we're getting two Furious Rajangs, not just normal Rajangs, that are actually hazard versions. So they're higher difficulty, higher health, higher resistances, higher damage, all that good stuff. And there's going to be two of them in this arena. So you're going to be able to get layered armor as a reward. We don't know what that armor is going to be. Of course, most likely the presentation will reveal that. 
but we are looking at some pretty awesome stuff there uh, for those specific rewards next we have another dual threat event quest and this one is going to be a banquet of beauty and these refer back to what i was talking about primordial malzano getting a bunch of brand new quests as part of event quest this will be the first one this dual threat banquet of beauty called um with primordial malzano and volcano and this one is going to give you a layered armor as well uh, following that we're looking at a flagship fight this one is a Malzeno plus Magna Malo small crown quest. So another simple quest, but if you're looking for small crown for Malzeno and Magna Malo, you should be able to get that. The next quest we're going to get as part of an event quest is called Daily Practice. This one is a Scorn, Magna Malo, and a Primordial Malzeno. We don't necessarily know what the rewards are going to be there. Now, after that, we do know that there's multiple more quests that say just pretty much slay all monsters. But the details for what those monsters are is a little bit wonky. We're looking about maybe four to five of those quests as well. So expect maybe one of those quests to be a four monster quest. If you have been doing anomaly investigation quest level 250 plus, uh, you know that there's a lot of four monster anomaly quests. And they haven't necessarily given us that many of them through normal event quests. So expect at the very least one of those uh, to be a four monster event quest. Now, one of the last things that I want to quickly touch upon is the fact that, yes, Violet Mitsutsune and Lucent Nargakuga will be appearing as secondary or sub monsters through anomaly investigation quests as the, at the start of this bonus slash six free title update that is something that we have been able to see happen so essentially these monsters will now appear as like normal arena monsters but they're not going to be anomalied they're not going to be risen they are just going to be their normal version most likely they'll be able to give you higher experience and stuff like that because they are you know higher tiered but um they're not you know pretty much anything nowhere near like an apex or even of course anomaly investigation level 300 monsters or even special investigation monsters which of course these quests are still going to be the peak difficulty even hazard quests are not going to be able to be in that same tier so now there is something to be said regarding special investigation quests and maybe having higher tier difficulty regarding hazard quests but at the same time uh, they don't necessarily have those new attacks those new maneuvers for all of the monsters that we're talking about so uh, maybe at the end of the day they view it as uh, two separate occasions we know that for example like i spoke in this video amatsu is getting his own hazard but amatsu doesn't have an anomaly investigation or a special investigation quest therefore they view it as a different thing Violet Mitsutsune, Luzen Nargakuga, all of these monsters just don't have a special investigations because they're not anomalied, so therefore they don't have a direct comparison high difficulty level 300 anomaly investigation quest, so the hazard kind of divvies up for that. Now, it's not, of course, the same case for every other monster. Rajang, for example, the most recent one that we got is essentially a Furious Rajang as a hazard quest, but of course, normal Rajang does have an anomaly investigation quest, therefore a special investigation quest, and that thing kind of varies depending on the difficulty uh whatever uh depending on the player really is what it boils down to but it doesn't necessarily seem to be all that dangerous but of course the hazard version does have new attacks so there is a little bit of a varying levels of like what is really the true tier and end game content here like what is is hazard the top end special investigations the top end anomaly investigation the top end and it really varies from monster to monster now, one of the upcoming videos that I'm probably going to end up dropping after this one, or maybe I already put it up, depending on the order when I post a video, is that I'm going to be talking about um, why did Capcom choose to go ahead and split up the fifth and slash bonus sixth free title update. Uh, there's an entire theory uh, discussed uh, there that I want to like kind of get out there, want to get people's feedback on, because at the end of the day, there's just... A lot of inconsistencies with what Capcom has decided to do regarding the bonus content for this game for whatever reason. They clearly halfway through decided to make some changes. Uh, we don't necessarily have a true answer as to why that is now. Maybe a Ryoso Sujimoto developer interview uh, will clarify that up. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for that, but we haven't necessarily seen anything 
from their end. So certainly uh, maybe some details from Suzuki, the director of Sunbreak or something will tell us if they had some actual changes, maybe throughout the early months of 2023 where they decided to make some changes, but we don't necessarily know. Certainly I want to get to that at a later date, but a video should be dropping relatively soon where I discuss and I certainly want to hear people's feedback on that very topic. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today is this should actually put the closing thoughts on pretty much all the minds information that we have regarding the bonus update slash six free title update for Sunbreak. If there's any actual changes in the upcoming, maybe a hot fix patch or something along those lines, obviously I will be addressing that at a later date. But as of right now, this is where things stand at the very least for May in 2023. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.